but usually when you get a point in this league on the road, you usually you're pretty happy. But obviously, giving up a goal with under a minute to go to allow them to tie, it's you know, disappointing. Um, you know, I thought we did a lot of good things tonight. Um, you know, I thought we played at a pace. I thought we were physical. I thought we moved the puck well. Um, but you know, people ask me all the time about our team and you know what the strengths and weaknesses are. And our number one re- weakness is immaturity, and that cost us tonight. Who's one of our best players for 10 minutes because he wants to celebrate. And I know it's the generation we live in, but that's not what, what BU hockey's about. And, you know, that was addressed, and people won't see that again out of our team. Uh, you know, our penalty kill was good, yet we gave up two rush goals, which are disappointing. Uh, and Paul probably gets a big goal uh, to put us up 4-3. But, you know, we just got to have a better understanding of situations. You know, we were up 4-3, three, three minutes to go, and give up that goal under a minute to go. We just weren't disciplined enough uh, with the six on five. So uh, and again, their third their, you know, their third goal is just sloppy. us going for a big hit on the initial rush. And uh, we just got to we just, we just grow up. And that's also asking an awful lot from a team that's littered with 18 and 19 year olds. And you know, we're going to have to be patient. I'm certainly going to have to be patient. Uh, but again, there's a lot that I like about our team. Uh, but you know, we're not there yet. Certainly not there yet, but I like the direction I'm going. As you're touching upon that, it seems like a lot of the things that are echoed in the locker room are more about how mentally the team is coping with those lead changes and kind of the game stages. Did you feel they kind of responded to what was ultimately four changes of who was ahead? Yeah, I mean, you know, it was two on for a while, obviously, and then they tie it. And again, the rush goal, if we just you know, blow our penalty kill four check, we did a great job killing it. We don't do what we have been doing all night, and they, you know, get it, they get a goal. Um, you know, we make it three to two, and again, we go for a big hit on the initial rush. I mean, you know, it cost us. You know, we tie it up, make it three three, and you know, all of a sudden we scramble a little bit and we tie it. So, you know, it's the ebbs and flows of a hockey game, and they're very good. I and mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm certainly aware that they're missing two of their top forwards. So, I mean, uh, give them a lot of credit. They played hard, they played well, they made things difficult for us. Uh, but you know, from our end, we're, we're just disappointed that. You know, 50 seconds away from getting your first one of the season in the league and getting two points and you tie. So, you know, disappointing. How do you feel the team did as well uh, responding to what was undoubtedly the loudest probably environment of the season so far? Well, I thought we came out well, played well early, you know. Um, but the first period was good. Obviously, you know, the five on three that we had too many men on the ice. But again, an immature penalty. Too many men on the ice penalty. You know, clearly, you know, we got to be patient there and understand the situation. So, you know, too many men on the ice penalty. Two initial rush goals on the power play and six on five goals. So, you know, um, we've got to we've got to be smarter. We've got to be smarter. And you know, but I thought we handled the environment well. You know, I thought we built on things that we did last week, two weeks ago. I thought we did a good job in the offensive zone. We used our points well when we got to the net. And, you know, again, there's a lot I like, but you know, the frustrations from you know, the things we're not good at, we can control. So, okay. Hopefully we're better tomorrow night. What were your thoughts on playing tomorrow night? So we played very well. We played very well, obviously, two goals. But, you know, he's all over the place. He's on the puck a lot. You know, not unlike any really talented 18-year-old structurally, he just has to get a lot better. You know, and these guys are so used to whenever things are going poorly, they just go run and go get the puck. But that can't happen at our level, and that's what all these guys have to learn. And unfortunately, you know, it's going to take a little time. Where's Baca Carlson, 17 and 6 on the dots tonight? And I thought you guys were great on the possession, especially the first two periods. What does it mean to have a guy like that who can, you know, kind of set the tone of possession last week? Yeah, the you know the faceoff obviously determines a lot. You're not chasing the game when you're doing faceoffs, and having a guy like him certainly allows you to you know, control the game a little bit more. Gives you an upper edge on the other team. You have more puck possession, and you know it, uh, he's been great on faceoffs for a long time. And, He's had nights like that. You know, I mean, last year's had a couple nights we won 23 and lost five or something like that. So he's been doing that for a long time. More so than any player, it seemed like we're a pretty big part target on Jordan when he back. How do you teach a kid to deal with getting, you know, stick on the ankle every time? I mean, he's in a short from that, having, you know, the glove on his face mask every yeah. time he plays on the goal. Well, you know, when he's playing with the edge that he's playing with, he pisses people off. And that's what he needs to do. He's at the net front and he's got a presence and he's physical and 
you know, that's what happens in hockey. It's an emotional game. There's a lot going on in a small area. Guys are big and strong. And things happen fast. And he does a great job controlling his emotions. Uh, you know, ironically, I'm saying that after he gets a 10-minute misconduct uh, for celebration. But, you know, he's, he, for a guy that's as physical he is and is as involved in the play as he is, he doesn't take a lot of penalties. And that's a tribute to him. What did you see tonight from uh, Pat Curry getting his first collegiate goal? It seemed like he was kind of all over the ice, a lot of energy. I thought that line in general was really good. You know, uh, Roberto and Clooney and Curry were really you know, establishing the offensive zone a lot. I thought they took pucks to the net. There's a lot to like about their game. And, you know, it's always nice to see a guy get his first career goal. On the power play, too, it seemed like there was a lot of frustrations with Northeastern pinching up to the blue line and trying to drop it for a guy coming in late. Was that a purposeful coaching change to try to maybe get some new approach or just trying to respond to Northeastern so Doing our power play. Yeah, right our now. power play. Yeah, I mean, we have, we've had the drop in, you know, we just, you know, we've used it a little bit this year and you know, the way they kill, it was something that we thought might, you know, might work. And again, we haven't worked on it a lot. And, you know, it's, uh, that, you know, the power play breakout in a nutshell, I think is a reflection of, you know, what our weaknesses is. You know, structurally, we're not sound yet because we've got so many young players, you know, they're not, used to playing structured hockey and you know there are things you have to do you know, within this game systematically if everybody's going to be successful and you know sometimes we're we go off the page because we're young and these guys aren't used to playing a lot of structure and a lot of systems so you know that that you know I think the Paul would break out when we didn't execute what we were supposed to execute we struggled and when we did what we were supposed to do we walked in so you know um, again we're, we alternate our, four, our breakout depending on what we see from the four checks game. Would you think of Mac? Go for it. Would you think of McAvoy's game and his ability to kind of break the puck out for you guys? Yeah, I mean he's obviously got incredible skill and he's got great poise with the puck and you know he's uh, you know, he's been doing that for a long time. That's why he's a first round pick and he was on the old rookie team last year and so highly thought. You know, so right the season has kind of been penalties and the way the game's being called, and tonight seems to be no exception. Where do you see your team on the learning curve still as far as learning how where penalties are? Well, we didn't take 12, so that's a step in the right direction. We took seven. Uh, you know, we tried to win the power play game, have more power plays than the other team, and I think tonight both teams took seven penalties. And that's just, it's too much. It's too much, and, you know, you got to keep working on it. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, they got to learn what a penalty is. They have to understand that the game's going to get called tighter. And, uh, you know, again, dealing with the youth that we have, the slow learners. What can you say about Auden here? He didn't have the best game, but still made six saves in overtime. Yeah, well, they had the power play in overtime, so I think most of those shots were on the power play. Uh, yeah, he's a heck of a goal. I'm sure he'd like to have one or two of those back, but, you know, it's, uh, he's a guy that we have a lot of trust in, a lot of confidence. Thanks, Coach.